Are you going in these up? Not alone. Hi, hey guys. Have you seats? Hi. Hi, Nanta. Welcome. Welcome to Lisbon. Welcome to Portugal. Yeah, wherever you want. So please just briefly introduce us. Some of them on the introduction, but who, who is on set with us? Okay. Uh, here is Dolor Madali. Who am I? <laughs> I think you may know you. <laughs> Dolor Madali is the co-creator and the composer and the lyricist of Toy. And we're very lucky to have him with us. <laughs> Hi, nice I'm to meet you. Lucky. And? <laughs> this is Tal. He is the head of the art delegation. Yeah. And this is Amnon Spector. He is my head of press. Yeah. Oh, cool, you're head of press. <laughs> it's super funny that I have a head of press now. Oh, it's really important. <laughs> no, but come on. I, 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 watched, uh, I watched your performance. Uh, on the internet, uh, Israel Calling was not mm. the event, and people are crazy about you. They are completely crazy about you. Were you expecting all this craziness around you, around you, around your song? Even the Queen of Austria in Eurovision land, Miss <laughs> Conchita Wurst, she said in, in an interview that she loves the song. Were you expecting all this excitement around you? Look, I I always say that I knew that we were doing something special and unique, but I, I wasn't expecting the boom, the explosion, the love, the, the hug people give me in my homeland. And this is, this is big, this is bigger than anything. To, 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 feel, to feel the embrace of yeah. something so different than the standard is unbelievable. But it's not for just Israel. in your homeland. I think it's around Europe. The Eurovision fans are embracing your song and you in a way. This is amazing. This amazing. is amazing. I, I, we, when we were in Amsterdam, we, uh, we entered a, a waffle place yeah. <laughs> after the show. Well, she told me before she, she wanted to talk about food, so a yeah. waffle place. A waffle place. Oh, you see you. You put a lot of energy out uh, when you perform, and they promised me, my team, if I do, if I do good at the show, <laughs> they will keep you, uh... if I behave, they will buy me waffle. Oh. So we went to a waffle place, and then um, a girl came in and she screamed, and uh, then she went out to her friends, and we didn't know what was happening, and then she came to me like almost crying, you're gonna win Eurovision, and she sang the song, and I was like overwhelmed because. It's not only in my homeland, it's everywhere. Well, that's good. That's and this is, this is, I cannot, I cannot, uh, call, I cannot Explain catch the words, it. yeah. Listen, this is. Yeah, now we understand that. This is nuts, I don't know. This is nuts. <laughs> You're here because you want, um, let me say properly, Akohababa. Nahon, that's uh, right. <laughs> yeah, okay, I try. Uh, the right, the Israeli rising star, and actually you perform uh, Abadi from '78, uh, uh, a song that won for that's Israel. Right, that's right. That's right. And a few days ago you released uh, an acoustic version of mm -hmm. it. Is that your favorite Israeli song? Absolutely. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Mine is I love Khan from '91. I love Khan. You know Khan? <laughs> of course I know. Khan. Oh, of course you are with them. <laughs> you are with Duo Dance. Oh my God, but you, you performed on that uh, on that event to celebrate the. You do your homework well. so well. Seriously, I, I like Israel. Israel. Well, I like Israel. You. you know that uh, since I started working in Eurovision in uh, 2002, I made lots of Israeli friends, and the first time I went to Israel was because of them. And so now I know a lot about your country and your culture and. Now I'm saying good things about you and your country, because if you know Khan and you met them, please, my Malka, sing it for me. Can you sing Khan for me, please? I beg you. Seriously? Seriously, it's my no. favorite song ever. Khan, no la de ti, Khan, no do li la dai. Okay, we're stopping. Khan, no la de ti, la dai. Please stay la dai. Khan, no la de ti. Come on, help me here. Okay, come on, that was good. We had our first duet. Oh, oh, oh I'm proud. We are performing next week on, no, uh, like <laughs> on our hotel room. <laughs> was it like that when you when you were in the in the navy? Because you sang when you were in the navy band. Of course. 
What songs did you sing? What songs did we sing in the Navy? You know, Navy. Israeli old songs and had... Uh, like uh, Khan. <laughs> <laughs> like Chai. You really love... I'll, I'll let all I like Chai. Chai, Chai, I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> you are a Euro fan. Oh, come on. But, so if you don't want to sing, you can sing Abba. <laughs> uh, I, will, uh, I will sing Abba Nibi. Uh, this, uh, in, uh, in the second press. And the second, oh, the second press. press. Will you be here? So there will be uh, something to wait we'll for. Call you. We'll it's call not call going you. to be with me. It's going to be with uh, another Peru. We got two Peru. So That's too bad it. for you, <laughs> isn't oh, it? Yes. I'm watching online. I'm sure. <laughs> After this, I am sure. <laughs> so it's your time now. Yes. Uh, here. Yeah. Thank you. It's Madeleine Tutelin from Eurovision Bulgaria. Hi, so, Madeleine. Hi. Hi, Neta. So we uh, saw that the Maneki Neko Kitten is part of your performance. Is the golden cat that does like this. <laughs> yeah, so Not it's a, a Japanese... Um, figure that usually brings luck. luck. So, uh, do you think that it will bring you luck? And also, do you have a talisman? Thank you. <laughs> I am hoping. I am hoping. And uh, uh, the, the cat was a very, very uh, interesting idea. Of, uh, of course... It won't, fall. Oh. it won't fall. Sometimes it has... Yeah. Wow. It has personality. <laughs> so is you. <laughs> and... Uh, Look, uh, it's, a, it's a very interesting idea of uh, of our team of the run. This song is very, is very K-pop, it's very J-pop, and uh, and I hope it would bring us luck. Um, I have this. It's from my grandmother's. Uh, she died when I was twelve. She was a very strong and independent woman, and uh, I was supposed to get it when I will get married, but my grandfather decided to give it to me now. Uh, for your vision, <laughs> and uh, I feel her um, with me, her power. More questions? Yeah, over there. Hi, Netta. I'm Steve from ESC Daily. I wanted to ask you, you have a very different position now than you had in your Israeli pre-selection because I noticed through the scores that you always just sort of came through the rounds but you were, you were not always the number one from the beginning. So, and, and now you're here and even before you sung one note on this Eurovision stage, you're already the top favorite. How is that different for you and how do you experience that new role of being the top favorite? That's a good question. Thank you. That's a good question. <laughs> Come on, Atta. You can do it. I am embarrassed, uh, uh, but uh, but I am honored. I am honored that a figure like me, which doesn't look like the standard, doesn't think, create, thinks outside of the box, and uh, originality is written on my flag. Uh, I am proud to be the favorite. I think it's a great change happening. Uh, in Israel and uh, worldwide, and uh, and this is an amazing feeling. I try. I'm I'm trying to stay f super focused. I I know I I need to work really 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 hard in order to really bring Eurovision back to Israel uh, after 20 years. And uh, I am hoping we are hoping to do it. Me and the amazing Israeli delegation. Questions? AGP. Hello, Netta. It's JP from Radio International here. Hi. <laughs> Hi. I've read about you that you, uh, you co founded uh, the uh, improvisation singing ensemble, The Experiment. Can you tell us what this is? <laughs> the Experiment? <laughs> yes, please tell us. Okay. I was, um, uh, I was improvising uh, blues in bars in Tel Aviv. I was arranging uh, evenings of improvisation till I found uh, my amazing trio, which I don't work with uh, today uh, from you know, in obvious reasons. <laughs> um, but uh, I am I'm coming from, from jazz uh, educate, jazzy education and I was uh, kind of a bad girl over there. <laughs> 
I didn't uh, didn't like to follow the rules in the scat language. I was always like, I was always clocking like a chicken, <laughs> and uh, and I always liked. Uh, um, I wasn't very much of a songwriter only later on, but I liked people. I liked the stage, and I was very musical. In uh, as different than other singers who need lyrics, who need. Uh, need it uh, organized. I like the freedom within the notes and, uh, and the freedom with people and how they react. Uh, and and I, like, I love to improvise. I like to write live on stage songs. And we performed uh, for several, uh, for several uh, months. I think a, a year or so around the country and then uh, uh, and then I got to a reality show after I had no way to pay my rent. <laughs> after <laughs> trying to make music <laughs> uh, um, of improvisation. That's it. <laughs> okay, yeah. Next time. Hi, Alistair Birch from Europhile. Uh, Nita, I, for starters, Israel, welcome back to Eurovision. You had us worried last year. But, um, Neta, I'd like to hear about the chooks. Why the chicken noises in the song? Why the chicken dancing on the stage? And how does that fit in with the message of your song? Thank you. Mm -hmm. The Ram and staff beggar who isn't with us today wrote a song uh, which has a strong message of uh, girl power and empowerment for actually everybody. Uh, and, uh, and the chicken noises has actually double meaning. In my personal experience, bulliness comes from fear, from somebody taking your place, from somebody stepping on your toes, uh, afraid of something different from you. And afraid, so I, I, I try to think about something funky who's, that sounds like fear, and a chicken is, <laughs> is on point. Also, Baka is stupid in Japanese, which goes very well with <laughs> with uh, with all the K-pop sounds in it. And I think it's like we found it. Right, you now. Thank you. Hey, Neta, Sebastian from WooeyBlogs.com. Where are you? Oh yeah. Hey. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, the flash is. <laughs> I'm short. I get it. <laughs> so. I've seen you at the pre-parties backstage. You love to dance. I've seen you dance, I've seen you move. What does dance mean to you? And will you put more dance in your performance maybe in your semi-final? Uh, look, in, in this rehearsal, I was very technical, but I am going, I am planning on moving a bit more. Um, I'm not such of a good choreographer dancer. I am, I'm, <laughs> I don't know to dance by anyone, by anybody else's rules. I like to dance my moves. <laughs> um, dance is freedom. Dance is accepting your body. Uh, is uh, um, is is accepting your size and loving yourself. And I am obsessed with with my visual performance. Like I always think, can I can I move to it? Can I can I run with it? And uh, this song is the exactly exactly the thing. Okay, over there in the right blue. Thank you. Thank you. Friends of us, see one. Hello, Shalom. I'm from Poland. Uh, I'm Simon <laughs> writing this letter. First of all, I'm Aquarius, like you are. You're what? Aquarius. Aquarius. So so, and uh, my question is about, uh, are you superstitious? I mean, do you think about this all bad or mm, good luck with you win every 10 years, for instance, uh, that we have this free time luck as well, Donald, it's your third song in the Eurovision Song Contest. Do you think it, it will bring you uh, happiness uh, in the end, after final or not? It's me or her? To her. Are you superstitious? <laughs> she was looking at me. That's the question. He's very she, interesting. She was guy. looking at me. Um, I am not a very superstitious person. 
uh, but I am surrounded by a team of very superstitious people. My uh, stylist, for example, is obsessed with the time on his telephone. Oh my God, it's like 14.14, 14, we're going to win your revision. <laughs> Oh my god, your room number is 1212, we're going to win your vision. <laughs> Obsessed. <laughs> and uh, so, so I guess, I guess we are a superstitious uh, delegation. But me in particular, I, uh, I trust myself in this matter. Uh, if I don't work hard, if I don't sleep well, uh, if I don't listen to my heart, it won't go well, nothing will help me. Okay, thank you. Time for just one more question. You choose. It's not my responsibility. <laughs> so it's his fault, not mine. Uh, I, could you please start? Uh, I'm I sorry, see. because I'm recording. So I can't see your name and where it's uh, Stefan ES United. Like so, because we are like uh, both, uh, let's say, let's say strong. What's your favorite food? And like the question for the delegation: Was there any slight of temptation to put a male dancer in a chicken costume on stage? <laughs> We okay. try not to be a cliche, you know? Okay, so you ask your question, is what, what's my favorite food and what else? Food. We'll finish the... the, the, the food the, is a nice the topic. Oh, food is a nice topic. I love cheese. <laughs> I love stringy and every type of cheese I like. <laughs> you should have dinner tonight. You make your own cheese? That's that's a match. Do you like sweet things as well? That's a match. Huh? Pastries, sweet things. Ah, I like it when it's good. I like I like Portugal. very fine stuff. Okay, you have to try a uh, pastel de nata. I keep saying this. Pastel. Pastel. De. De. Nata. Nata. Ani oe. Um pastel de nata. Ani oe votar na marca. It's Israel. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. And it's done. When it's done, time flies by. Bye-bye.